Hi, this is Terry. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Now I'm on a mission to improve the health of my heart. Hello, let's get our stuff ready for tomorrow. I have one more apple left and I'm going to try to weigh it out. Um, I'll go on and, pee, uh, and uh, slice it, but uh, in the meantime, let's. I'm going to take, uh, this is my egg roll in a bowl, so we're going to turn, it got to start with some power, girl. Got to turn the power on, corn flab it. It should just know, it should just know that I need power. All right, so tomatoes is going to be 80 grams. Jicama. Let's see what we got here. All right, that's going to be 87 grams. 87. And we're going to add some peppers. It's kind of a big salad, 82 grams. I kind of just, I've got some stuff that's like lingering. And so I want to just go ahead and get them done. Um, in the grand scheme of things, it's not really that much different, but um, I don't want to just I don't want to use 60 grams and have like two pieces of each thing left. That'd be kind of silly. So I'm going to cut up some onion, some white onion, and some red onion. I got a song stuck in my head. Oh, we had a nice live today. Today, Sunday evening, we had a good good live, but. Uh, Song and I'll change ashes for glory. Something, something, something. Uh, 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 uh. To God be the glory. Oh, we had a good time at kids church. I'll tell you, one of the leaders. I don't, I don't really know him very well, but um, he's one of the. He gets up there and helps whenever they have to. like tell a story to the kids, and he's such a ham. It's kind of funny. He, cause he, he throws the, he throws the staff off, like the person who's leading it. He just comes up with this weird stuff. Like he's, like right now they're doing, um, faith in seeds or something like that. And so anyway, it cracks me up because he, she, like the leader has asked him to come and talk about various things. Well, <laughs> he's, his name is Silas the Sorghum farmer. And it's really cute. I forget about how naive and innocent kids are. Like these kids, he's the same guy and he dresses up and he's done different characters since I've been, since I've been coming. But it's so cute because the kids just see him as whatever name. Like one time he was some kind of uh, professor. Oh, during the eclipse he was some kind of scientist. And then during... Um, um, another time he was, I don't remember what else, but right now, he's Silas the Sorghum Farmer. <laughs> and so anyway, it's, it, it cracks me up because he just says some off-the-wall stuff, and it, it kind of throws the poor teachers off, and it, I get a kick out of it because it's funny because they're like, huh? <laughs> so it's just cute to watch. Anyway, um, so that's going to be our salad. Um, so my dressing, I use, I have a mixture of G. Hughes Polynesian and G. Hughes Honey Mustard. I take this container, I fill it half full with those two seasoning, those two uh, dipping sauces, and I fill the rest of the way with whatever kind of vinegar I have on hand. So that is what my salad dressing is. I have a big old lummox beside me. He had a steroid shot. And his hunger is kicking in. He is, he's just, I mean, he's always by me when I'm meal prepping and stuff. And this is just a mixture of my pickled vinegars, my pickled, um, the vinegar that I use on my pickled veg. I like this. It just gives an extra tang. Because as we know, I like soup. How do I say? Salute. I like a salad like a soup. But um, anyway, so we had a good day at kids' churches. It's just fun watching them little kids because, you know, they're just adorable. So, all right, so that's my salad. That's pretty, pretty easy. And then this is what I say, egg roll in the bowl. So I'll plug that in tomorrow. 
I'm going to cut up this apple. I might have some regrets because this is the same paper plate I just cut that onion up on, but maybe it'll be okay. We'll see. I have this old knife, and this is the terrible. It is the worst knife you ever did see. If ever you were going to cut yourself using a knife, it would be this one. But I don't want to dirty up my, my good one because then I have to wash it. And if I use this janky one, then I can just toss it in the, di in the, in the dishwasher tonight, and it can just sit there until I do dishes in a day or two. So this one, it's okay. I just kind of use this janky one whenever I cut up an apple. Like if I cut it up at, in the, oh, come on. If I cut it up in the evening time or something. Yeah. Now, let's get all this tossed away. Y'all, I almost forgot my breakfast. How you gonna let me do that? What's wrong with you people? Y'all let me, y'all help me remember my seasoning, but you about let me forget my, my breakfast? Psh, I'm about done with y'all. I'm about done with y'all. Y'all are on my nerves. You're on my very last nerve, I'm here to tell you. All right, so now let's see. Hang on. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Better put your back into it. Who, 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 who. All right, so we're going to zero it out. And 267 grams of apple. Y'all know. Y'all know I got, the, I got to get the biggest apple. It's just how I roll. I know. I see it. You see it. We all see it. But that is what it is. And that's the only apple I got. So today is going to be my Monday. And for you all, it'll be Wednesday. So I just, just to update you all, make sure we're on the same page. I have enough of my 73% to last until... I think it's Saturday. Wait a minute. What did I say? Hang on. Apple. Apple. How do I not have it on here? Terry, you silly rabbit. Apple. 267. All right. Um, so anyway, what was I talking about? Wait a minute. Okay, let's put our apple in here. And a spoon. Got a spoon. I need to throw in an extra one because I used, I used a couple from work. And then our breakfast, we got our baffles. I made up extra. To, I made these on s Saturday. I made, made enough for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So we'll see how these work. And then my cream cheese, or my, whoop, let me put this down in this little baggie. And it'll all be together. Not cream cheese, my laughing cow spreadable cheese wedge. Okay. All right. So now I'll put this away. Um. Oh, yeah. Let me just bring you up here so I can focus a minute. Um, yeah, so we are, Saturday I think is my last 73%, so we're going to go to the 93%. I want to experiment and try to see, uh, and just see where I'm at, um, whatever day I start this. Whether, if mom's in town, I ain't going to start a Sunday because we'll be going out to eat and we're going to be getting uh, a pork steak. But if she's not home, or if I don't go visit her, she'll be home. But if I don't go visit her, because um, it's just a matter of how tired she's going to be from her trip. Um, but anyway, if she's if she if she's tired and I don't go visit her, then um, then I will go ahead and start eating then. But anyway, I'm just going to mess with my calories this time. I'm super curious to know. You know, I lost that 90 pounds by keto and counting calories, both of those together. So since I eat, a, I would say I eat about 80% whole foods. I would, I would guesstimate that what I eat is about 80% raw whole food that I cook into something. And 20% will be things like sauces, um, vinegar. I don't know if vinegar is processed. I don't know what it is. But anyway, sauces, dips, whatever. Um, so I would guesstimate that I'm about 80-20. And so I'm super curious to see. If I lower my calories, but keep the same amount of carbs, I'm really, really curious to know what will happen. So um, it won't start, like I said, until next week, um, the, like at least Sunday or Monday. So Sunday, the let's see, what is today? This is Sunday the 19th, so 20, 21. Oh, dang it. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Wait. Callie, not 
knock it off. Okay, so Sunday. Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that's the 26th. So approximately the 26th, 27th time frame of May. That's what I'm talking about looking at counting calories. So approximately that time frame. So yes, ma'am, you better quit all that talking. She's out there telling the world all our family secrets again. Hi, Bubba. And then Lou is out there with her. But you weren't telling his secrets. He's a good boy. He holds his secrets dear to his little, little long-eared heart. Oh, anyway, all right, you guys. So, yeah, I'm just jibber-jabbering. Baxter coming, knocking Lou over just in case there's food to be had. These wild things. So, anyway, yeah, so <clears throat> I'll be dropping little hints and discussing it along the way. But that's kind of my thought process is. So, starting next Sunday... Monday time frame, we're going to be shifting to 93% and, and some 80-20 depending on what I have. But we're going to start off with the 93% and be looking at my macros then. So my calories, that's going to be my focus is calories. Not carbs, not fat, not protein, but focusing on my calories. I'm just going to experiment. Okay, bye. Hey there, good morning. I got my <clears throat> four baffles with my um, uh, laughing cow cheese on it. For full disclosure, I didn't warm them up. Sometimes I don't care about temperature. Sometimes I got stuff going on in my head or stuff going on around me and it doesn't bother me enough to, to warm them up. So anyway, I'm eating some some cold baffles with laughing cow cheese. <laughs> mm, it's about 20 till 8. So, what I'm eating, I'll see you at lunch. Bye. It is lunchtime and we've got our salad. It's going to be yum, yum, yum. Or cracked cabbage. You know it's good. Egg roll in a bowl, whatever you want to call it. You know it's going to be good. Mm-hmm. 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 Apple. Mm. This is like 160 calories. Yes, I know. It's a big one, but that's all right. It's like 160, 170 calories, just so you know. So, Okay. <clears throat> I'll see you at supper. Bye. You guys, I'm trying to go back on my channel and see like what I was eating like like one year from ago. So like one year ago, I wasn't having like the, the excess swelling that I have right now in my ankles and feet. I didn't have all that. And, um, and so I want to see exactly what I was eating one year ago. <sighs> I got to go through 365. <laughs> Probably more like 400, 400 videos just to get there. Man, I'm at seven months, eight months, eight months. My stars, how do y'all put up with me in all my videos? I don't know. I wear myself out. Anyway, ooh, nine months ago I grilled. That's right. I, I killed my grill. I forgot about that. Ten months ago, <clears throat> oh, I had longer hair. I miss my long hair. Anyway, it, it'll grow back. It can grow back. Anyway, so yeah. So what I, I want to go back and see like exactly. I know I wasn't posting my macros, but I can still look and see um, exactly what I was eating. I just, I don't know. I just want to know, you know, guesstimate what I was eating. Like if I was eating, oh, I see a video that says Easter of Mama Judy. And it's her face. Oh, Judy. That's my mama. She's so funny. Okay. Oh, man. My hair was really long. Then. Oh, it's killing my heart. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go back and, and, and look one year ago and see, and see what I was eating back then. Okay. Bye. And videos sure are a lot shorter. I can say that much. Man, I talk a lot. <laughs> I don't know. It was like a big mix of different things that I'm looking at. And I see, um, um, my salads, my salads are a little bit bigger. 
um, my breakfast at one point. You know, I was doing the yogurt and cottage cheese for breakfast. Um, and then, my, like I said, in my salads at um, I'm doing salads then and now, so I definitely would say my salads have, have grown. Um, and then, yeah, and then, of course, I added fruit. Um, something I'm thinking about, hang on. <clears throat> now that I'm going to be messing around with the keto chow for ice cream and using the uh, protein powder, I'm going to... Sorry about that. I would just want to face the door. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to um, utilize the keto chow protein powder and mix ice cream for a little bit instead of um, fruit. Um, as for obvious reasons, it is less carbs and it's actually less calories. So I'm going to kind of try that, kind of play around with that a little bit. Um, as Hang on, let me tell you exactly how many calories and carbs, what the difference is. Okay, now these are total calorie, total uh, carbs, not um, net carbs, but for grains, I just wanted to kind of experiment. So, looks like fruit, um, there's 168 calories if I do just fruit. Um, if I do protein powder with water, it is 62 calories. If I do protein powder with Fairlife milk, it's 102 calories. So, either way, of course, the protein powder is less calories, so that's going to be good, you know, as I'm kind of focusing on calories a little bit and then um, the carbs total carbs for fruit is 42 total carbs for protein powder with water is 3.4 protein powder with the fair life is 6.4 so going from the fruit to fair life is three, it should be about 36 less total carbs so um, <clears throat> so yeah so just kind of Kind of, you know, um, going to be kind of playing around with numbers over the next several weeks and, you know, just going to be experimenting and um, just see what happens. So if, if my swelling is from, you know, the fruit, you know, I've already taken apples out, but like I said, two, three months ago before I had the heart issue, I didn't have the swelling issue. So that's why I say, is it inflammation? Is it is it now all of a sudden my body is resisting the carbs, uh, you know, but the only carbs I eat is fruit and vegetables. You know, I'm not going out and eating bread or, or chips or anything like that. So I don't know, you know, just something to think about. But, um, but like I said, I wasn't having and complaining about this swelling until about the past two months is about when I've, I've noticed the swelling and, um, oh, and tomorrow morning I go have my labs drawn. I may have told you, I may not. If I told you, I'm telling you again. I'm going to have my labs drawn. Um, she's actually going to do a full panel. So also going to be checking my cholesterol to see if there's any change in that. But, um, I'm, I need to make sure she knows I am on cholesterol medicine now. Um, so yeah, so <clears throat> that's, that's what we're kind of looking at. And we're just going to kind of play it by ear. But like I said, my carbs... I don't eat anything different now than what I did, we'll say, about five months ago. And five months ago, I wasn't having this issue. But anyway, we will see. All right, bye. Tracy, I forgot to tell you, you're up here on my wall. So I've got your Tracy Cow's Amazon gift card. So I want to make sure you know you're on my wall. Thank you very much. And I ordered some. Let me just show you. Hang on. Do you see this poor pitiful chew? This is a dog rope. This was a lot longer, and now it's like all dreadlocked and nasty because they chewed. It used to be like about this long. Well, with your gift card, I ordered them a, a set of two, so they're gonna have the best time with it. So I just wanted to show you that. My supper tonight is my green beans. I got a, it's a whole can of green beans. I put some. Farm dust and something else. Oh, my farm dust and garlic clovers on it. That's hot. That's good. Mm-hmm. So we got this. Now this needs a little explanation. It was my cracked chicken. Okay? It was cracked chicken. Well, 
I was digging in my refrigerator and I dropped, I knocked out my salsa verde. So that fell on the floor. It broke the outer piece of the plastic container. Now, after the fact, I realized I could have just put it in a different container. But it was kind of starting to wilt and it ain't going to last much longer. So, this is cracked cabbage with some feta salsa verde on top. That's some good stuff, Maynard. I don't care what nobody says. It tastes good, good. Now, I'm going to try to do my ice cream again tonight. I know I had it last night for supper. So, I'm going to try it again tonight. So, don't forget, be watching for that video. It may have come out or it may be coming out in the future. I have no idea. So, yeah. So, I'll show you the ice cream. I'll show it to you when it's done, though. Hey there. So, I made up my strawberry ice cream. And I actually went ahead and put one, two, three little pieces of banana and one, two, three, four, five, six uh, dragon fruits. And then a couple little chunks of kiwi. And uh, I'm going to mix it up in there. <clears throat> so, I I like this little ice cream maker. I, I honestly give it two thumbs up. I'm learning things as I use it. This is my second time doing it. I can't binge on it. Because you can only make one cup. And unless I go out and spend money on more of the freezer containers, I can only make one cup. And I'm not the type, the person that's going to leave my house to go drive to the store or something to buy some ice cream. Because once I'm in my house, I'm in my house. And I ain't the type that's going to pay for like Grubhub or whatever them delivery places are. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I just, I just don't. So, um, so anyway, but yeah, so I'm enjoying this ice cream maker and I think it's going to be a fun, fun thing to do with my, um, with my, um, uh, my protein powder. having ice cream summertime hello this is great so um anyway and it doesn't even matter what kind of protein powder you know i'm gonna do some more research on the cottage cheese stuff ice cream too anyway all right that is my today's monday and i'll see you tomorrow my mouth is freezing up i love you guys bye